Good morning, Grab High School. I'm Sarah Satchel. And I'm Brooks West, and this is the news for January 24th. For lunch this week, we'll have Sloppy Joe on Monday, Oriental Chicken on Tuesday, Corn Dog or Baked Chicken on Wednesday, Tornados on Thursday, and Chicken Sandwiches on Friday. Hosa is sponsoring a blood drive February 4th. You must be 16 and have parent permission in order to donate. See Ms. Hilger for more information and to sign up. On Tuesday the 25th, Varsity Basketball plays at Berryville, and on Friday the 28th, they play at Gentry. There is no home game this week. After an evening of cold winter activities, GHS TV needed something to warm our bellies. Here's Ty to tell us about Heroes Coffee, the next stop on our winter road trip. On average, the coffee drinking millennial spends about $2,000 a year on coffee. I do too. Today we are here at Heroes Coffee to drink some coffee and hang out with our friends. Heroes Coffee Company transformed a former Easy Mart into a coffee shop on the corner of Southwest 8th Street and Southwest 8th Street. Here's Coffee started in Springfield, Missouri in 2003 as a way to fund a mission trip to Mexico. In 2009, Amy and Tim Ferguson were asked to buy it. They did, and rebranded it to Heroes Coffee and expanded the vision to support local everyday heroes such as military service people, veterans, public safety workers, and social-minded organizations. They said that they want to help the local community, and they pick a hero to partner with in the community to help advertise and provide coffee for events. Now that you know more about Heroes Coffee, you can grab your friends, get your daily caffeine buzz, and feel like a real hero. Thank you, Ty. Elise has introduced us to herself and Rosa, and now she's here to let us know a little bit about our next international exchange student, Taro. <laughs> Tara is a German exchange student from Bremen. Bremen is located in the north of Germany. The city is the 11th largest city in Germany with about 570,000 inhabitants. Bremen is situated on both sides of the river Weser, about 60 river meters from the mouth of the river into the North Sea. Hi, my name is Taro Breckenkamp. I'm 18 years old. I'm here a senior and I came from Germany. Are you involved in school things, sports or clubs? In school, actually, not really. I do my sport um, by my own at home. So I'm not in a club or do any sport activities here in school. Why did you want to do an exchange here? I think it's very good for experience, like um, to stay on your own. Because I'm 18 years old in Germany, I'm an uh, adult. And I want to make my English skills better and, and have an adventure. How long are you staying in the U.S.? My plan is to stay here to uh, July 2022. What is your favorite class and why? I think my favorite class is the piano class because it's the last lesson of the day and I can play after the lesson every time a little bit on the piano and it makes great fun. What is the biggest difference between your hometown and the U.S.? I think we have three differences. One thing is the school, the other thing is the food, and the other thing is um, the space. So I came uh, from a city with 550,000 uh, people, and here we have, I think, 6,000. So this is a big difference. What do you miss the most? I think my family. What should we know about you? I think I'm a very friendly person, and I'm creative, and yeah. I'm searching for friends. Don't forget to talk with Taro about his hometown, Bremen. Thank you, Elise. Do you ever wonder what goes on behind the scenes of GHS TV? Well, here's Ethan to show you a little bit around the studio. Hey, everybody. You watch the news every week. But you ever wonder what it takes to make the news? I'm here to give the inside scoop. The most well-known part of GHS TV is GHS News. A lot of people come together with specific tasks to help get the news out every week. This starts out on Monday with what we call the Monday meetings. Every Monday, GHS news members come together to plan out the week, who does what, and what each person's task is. The first thing we do on Monday meeting is watch the previous week's news to look for reasons to celebrate and opportunities to improve. Then we determine what the upcoming segments will be for the news and assign those segments to specific reporters. 
Tuesday is writing day. Reporters that are assigned with a segment for the next week start off by doing research for the topic and writing their script. So after Galloway gives us a segment that we need to do, the first step is to research it and find out the information that goes behind the topic that we're talking about. And then once we've researched everything and we go in to write everything and we try, we want it to flow, we want it to be an organized structure so that the viewer, the viewer will understand it. And then from there we record. Wednesday is filming day. Student Students will take a camera and mic and go film their introduction, body, and conclusion for their segment. Additionally, they will collect their B-roll, which is the footage the viewers see during the news segment while the reporter is talking about their segment, like the footage you are watching right now. While the reporters are out filming their segments, our anchors are hard at work filming their part of the news, which puts the news together. Uh, usually we film on Wednesdays, and we just come in fourth hour in our shirts, and we have lights set up and everything, and we film takes us about the whole class period, um, and then we give the stuff to Noah and he edits, it, he edits it. Thursday is editing day. Students take the footage they filmed from the previous day and the B-roll they have collected, and they put it together into a fully finished news segment. The segment is then taken over to the lead editor and incorporated into the news for the week. It takes about 30 minutes to um, edit a whole new segment, cutting, editing, um, putting in clips, putting in side shots, putting in the segments. But once I'm done with that, then I export it to my desktop and then Galloway post it on YouTube. Friday is the deadline for the week. The news must be done by the end of the day Friday. We spend this day in class catching up on anything that we may have missed. By the end of the day Friday, the news is ready to be uploaded on Monday morning. GHS News is a very different dynamic compared to the regular classroom. Our unique environment allows us to create content and show it to you, our viewers. Thank you for being a part of the final process. Thank you, Ethan. That's all for this week. I'm Brooks. And I'm Sarah. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next week. week.